Hi friends this is third part of building of chat application in PHP using Ajax jQuery with MYSQL and in this part we will first load all user details with their online and offline status on web page. In previous part we have make login and logout page for chat application, after login into system user will redirect to user will be redirect to index page. So in this part first we will display all user details like their user name, their online status like he online or not and chat button, by on chat button can chat with particular user. Once user login into system then he can see all user details on web page except his user details, he cannot see his user details on web page but other user can see his details in their chat system. So for display user details on web page, so here we have write division tag with id is equal to user details, under this tag we will load user details in table format. Now we have go to jQuery code and here we have make one function fetch user, this function will fetch user details from login table and display on web page. Under this function we have start write ajax request and under this first we have write url option set to fetch user.php, here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method option set to post, here we have use post method for send data to server. After this we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server which we can access from this data argument. Under this function we have write dollar with division tag id user details with html method and under this method we have write data argument, it will display user details under user details division tag id in table format. Now we have go to fetch user.php for write php script, so under this page first we have write include statement with database connection.php, this code will make database connection on this page. Below this we have write session start function, this function will start session variable on this page. After this we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from login table where user id is not equal to dollar session user id variable. This is simple select which will fetch all user details except currently login user. Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. After this we want to execute this query so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will execute select query. After query execution we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will fetch data and store under dollar result variable. Now we have write dollar output variable and under this variable we have store HTML table code with three table column like username, status, and action. Below this we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable, so by using loop we can fetch data from dollar result variable. 
Under this loop we have write dollar output variable and under this variable we have append HTML code like open and close table row tag and between this we have create three table data tag. In first table data tag we want to display username details, so here we have write dollar row username variable. In second table data tag we will display online and offline details which we will discuss later. In third table data tag we have create chat button for this we have write button type is equal to button, class is equal to start chat, data to user ID is equal to dollar row user ID variable and data to username is equal to dollar row username variable here we have store particular user id details store under data to user id variable and username details under data to username attribute after storing all data in dollar output variable now we have write echo statement with dollar output variable here we have send data to Ajax function. Now we have go to index page and here we have called fetch user function. So when page load into browser then it will called fetch user function which display user details on web page. Friends here we have login as John Smith but now we can not see any user details on web page. Now we have refresh web page and after refresh of web page now we can see user details on web page. Here we can two user details on web page. Currently in login table there is only three user has been inserted and here only two. Because login user cannot see his own details on web page. Here we have not display user online or offline, so we have start discussing particular user status is online or not. This things we will discuss in next part. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.